the host of TV Nation. <laughs> and if you believe that, take a look at the producers. <laughs> well, this is a real show on NBC. Come on. We're on NBC. You don't believe that, do you? No, I don't. I don't look like the kind of guy to be on NBC, right? No. <laughs> what, 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 what looks strange about this? Uh, I guess you, mainly. Me to begin with, right? Yeah, I don't know. Thanks a lot. Coming from you, that's a real compliment. Oh, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and now I have a show on NBC. Can you believe that? Why? Did, why? Everything you see on tonight's show is true. It's informative. It's basically turning over an hour of TV to guys like us. Hey. Educational. If you had to choose between uh, a brainy Baywatch or a sexy McNeil Lair show, which would sexy. you choose? Sexy, definitely. And sexy. Uh, that seems to me an extraordinary statement. Do you believe that I have a show on TV? Uh, well, yes, I'm going to believe it right now. Yeah, because you have the camera and you have the microphone. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. TV Nation, we're on the air. TV Nation with Michael Moore. Tonight, Michael Moore asks what exactly can the chairman of American companies do? Louis Gerstner, CEO of the IBM Corporation, we challenge you to come down and format a computer desk. Do not be afraid. <laughs> You know, I was watching TV the other night, and, and, and there was the chairman of Honda Motor over in Japan on the assembly line with his workers building a Honda with his own hands. <laughs> and I got to thinking, well, what can the chairman of our companies do? I mean, do they know how to build or operate the products that they sell? Or are they just a bunch of bean counters? So I decided that tonight, as a public service to our viewers, we're going to test their mettle and find out. Get ready, corporate America. It's the TV Nation CEO Challenge. Tonight, we ask the question on the minds of most underpaid Americans. Do the chairman of American corporations know how to build or use their own products? To find out, we issued our challenge to the chief executive officers of over two dozen major American corporations, including IBM, Ford, Philip Morris, and Colgate Palmolive. We wrote to them and asked them to show us on camera what they knew about their products. Should they meet this challenge, their prize will be this beautiful golden putter and executive putting green. Unfortunately, none of the CEOs responded to our letter, so I took our challenge directly to their corporate headquarters. Each contestant would have one hour to come down and display their executive prowess. Our first contestant, Louis Gerstner, chairman of IBM. Attention, attention, Louis Gerstner, CEO of the IBM Corporation. We challenge you to come down and format a computer desk. I don't think he's coming. Put down your putter and come down for the CEO challenge. We are IBM compatible. Apple and Macintosh are toys. IBM are real computers. He wouldn't see me. The hour was up. Chairman Gerstner would not take us up on the challenge. So we moved on to contestant number two, Ruben Mark. Chairman of Colgate Palmolive. Attention, attention. Mr. Ruben Mark, Chairman of the Colgate Palmolive Company. We challenge you to come down and put the toothpaste in the tube. We need to know, can you do what your workers do? You are paid more than them, and rightly so. Have you seen Mr. Ruben Mark? No. We will wait. Thank you. People of Colgate Palmolive, you all smell so good coming out of the building. I would like to smell you closer. 
please come and do the dishes for me. While waiting for the chairman, his employees cheerfully offered to do our dishes with palm olive liquid soap. Mr. Mark, we have met your employees and they can do the dishes. He's gone for the day. After one hour, Chairman Mark was a no-show. So we moved on to contestant number three, Michael Miles, chairman of the Philip Morris Company. Michael Miles, chairman of the Philip Morris Company. We challenge you to come down and roll a cigarette. We have the ingredients. Mr. Miles, I know this sounds like a stupid question, but what exactly did Philip Morris die from? Huh? Who's in charge? I'm in charge. What's your name? Michael Moore. Do not be afraid. I am unarmed. Please come down and explain the line. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Have you seen the chairman? Please, do not shut the door on me. Have you seen the chairman of the company? Hello? If you see the chairman, would you please tell him to come down and roll a cigarette for me? Please. It's only one cigarette. Please. Shortly after declining the TV Nation CEO challenge, Chairman Miles resigned because he suddenly felt Philip Morris should be run by someone who knew and smoked tobacco. Indeed. Next, we were off to Dearborn, Michigan, and contestant number four, Alex Trotman, chairman of the Ford Motor Company. Mr. Alex Trotman, CEO of the Ford Motor Company. We challenge you to come down and change the oil in a Ford. Unlike the other CEOs, Chairman Trotman was up for the challenge. Mr. Trotman? Yeah. Yeah. Michael Moore. Michael. Hi. Hey. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Thanks for uh, coming down. Uh, uh, sounds like fun. When's the last time you touched the bottom of a Ford? Uh, last summer. I would recommend you, you go and have your oil changed by the dealer, by the way. Or they could have the chairman change it. Or they could have me come over right. and change it. But I, a slightly expensive way to do it. It would be expensive, and we, uh, since we sell over 4 million vehicles a year, it would be tough for me to get around and do everybody's oil. I'd love to do it for our customers, but I just don't have the time. Right. So the, the Ford slogan is quality is job one. What is job two? Well... If quality is job one, what is job two? Well, we don't, we don't have, we don't think of what's second, really. There we go. Head right, right, in the, right in the cross. So the vehicle's now ready for, another, set, ready for another 5,000 miles. Alex Trotman, chairman of Ford Motor, you have met the TV Nation CEO Challenge. You will receive the Golden Putter and Putting Green, compliments of TV Nation. And to the other CEOs of America... Attention, attention, men and women of corporate America, come down and accept the TV Nation Challenge. And now we bring you the official TV Nation poll. 204 Americans were surveyed by the firm of Widgery & Associates, a professional polling firm. 65% of American women believe there's a lot of difference between a campaign contribution and a bribe. Only 35% of men see a difference. 